Hi, good afternoon. My name is Grant Baker. I'm the Managing Director of Borough Markets. And at Borough Markets, we're at war with commercial inequality. Um, our mission is to democratize technology for small to medium-sized businesses to allow them to compete for the first time against large corporate retailers. But let me explain. Okay. <laughs> Just click for me. Okay, this is going to throw my okay. time. Uh, this is going to be awkward, but no worries. Okay, um, but rather let me explain. <laughs> In an online marketplace of big brands and big bucks, it can be tough to make an impact. In the attention economy, you're bidding against the world's biggest marketing budgets. So it's no surprise that the online marketplace can seem like a big challenge for smaller businesses. What if there was an affordable way for you to access cutting edge marketing technology to help you compete online with the big guys? Welcome to Borough Markets. Borough Markets is a holistic business ecosystem that will provide you with everything you need to succeed online. Using game-changing AI, we work with your data to build behaviour models around your audiences to increase your customer spend, interaction and brand. We break down and segment your audiences with tactical marketing, lookalike modelling and advanced programmatic advertising, honing in on who your customers really are. Then, we give you the keys to unlock the real potential of your data. A complete e-commerce platform that will help you access your ideal customers with smart, personalised messages and tools. And in addition to all the AI-powered data you need to succeed, we also provide a full turnkey solution with an assigned account manager and development of digital creative campaigns. Our team is always here to help you convert your data into a winning plan with real results. So join our community, connect with us and be part of something that can take your business further online. Cool. So for us it's been a big week. Um, we launched this week, um, we launched uh, in the advertiser, we've had fantastic press, Spring Gully, okay. Spring Gully um, was our, our launch partner who we've done some amazing work for over the last couple of weeks in terms of looking at analytics and AI. At the same time, when you talk about launch, it's not simply about saying, hey guys, we're open for business. It's actually more than that. It's the fact that we have two native apps in the store, our, our uh, shopping uh, portal is completely up and running. Um, our new consumer portal uh, for customers and for brand owners to come join and find out about us is, is, is up and running. And most importantly is our dashboards for our brand owners. We, we have really onboarded our first 20 businesses. Um, we have been running campaigns for the last two, three weeks. And our team has grown from two people in March to 18 people today. And we expect to be sitting at around 30 um, by, this, by, by February, March next year. So, we believe that we have quite a, a unique business model. We have gone through the process of uh, automating our onboarding process. Um, I will tell you, embarrassingly, that when we onboarded our first winery, which was Loden Bilfil Road, it took us a week to get Inga fully up and running on board. Um, this morning, we onboarded a client in 45 minutes. And when I say on board, I mean bring them onto our platform, set up the e-com site, work out what their social uh, media and marketing requirements are and actually start to be able to run algorithms to actually understand their customers and what we can deliver for them. Our route to market is quite unusual. Um, we, have, we have built our market uh, uh, drive on partnerships. Um, and when I mean partnerships, PKF specifically, um, their 13,000 customers um, uh, are uh, accessible to us and we've been running our own tools to try and identify who those key customers are. Um, we generate revenue through five primary channels, being third-party advertising opportunities, uh, specialist services for, for data, which is what we've just executed for Spring Gully, trying to help them get uh, Osmite back uh, listed on the, on the woolly shelves, um, through to our licensing feeds, 
uh, revenues and production costs and media revenue. And I can tell you that we, you know, I've done so many investor presentations and you throw up the hockey stick and everyone goes, oh, we're on track. Um, we're actually on track for our, our November, December numbers already. Um, because of that pipeline that's coming through, because of our strong B, uh, B, BMD teams. Although there are 140,000 SMEs in South Australia, over 2 million active trading small businesses in, in, in Australia, our focus is predominantly on three categories, and we're launching currently in New South Wales and South Australia simultaneously. The first is on general retail, where we've brought on businesses like Spring Gully, Swift Light, uh, Petbull with RSPCA, which is one of our favorites. We, we took their brief for their new campaign today. Through to wineries, distilleries, and craft breweries. Um, with brands like Global for Road, Archie Rose in Sydney, um, and as of today, Prancing Pony from the Hills on board. And we are busy finalizing um, a string of agreements with, with wineries such as Torbrek, Wirrawirra, Aston Hills, Larry Walker, and Langmore. From a professional services company side, the reason we've gone this route is because we actually want to give that depth of data and understanding. And um, looking at businesses like Logic Finance, Spinal Care, Chiropractic, and Neutralife. As a business, we look incredibly complex. We look incredibly technical. Uh, the tech stack is big. Um, it's been designed and built um, with using some of the world's best uh, data scientists and, uh, um, and, 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 and leading uh, architects. But, hello. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the, the core to our business is three things. One is our partnership with IBM and Acoustic. And the tech stacks that we use from them are both ranked as number one by, by Gartner um, uh, in terms of, of technology. But it's, it's not their tech stacks that are the core or the essence of our business. It's the way that we've able, been able to bring these tech stacks together, this technology together, to actually make it work, where we can bring data in from multiple data sources, from myriads of different sources from small businesses, and actually make sense of that data, run machine learning, and then push out thousands of, of individualized, personalized campaigns to thousands of customers for hundreds of businesses concurrently. And that's never been done before. And that's, that's really been caught what we, we, we've built. The second piece is the, the, the scary piece. We know that there is this level of technology across a string of graveyards um, that are for, for SME businesses. Why? Because it's not the tech. It's actually the ability to bring that SME along that journey. When you run a business, you're the marketing director, the sales director, the financial director, the ops director, the, the uh, financial director. Marketing is simply one small portion. And we learned this lesson from Zomato, that unless you actually manage that business, become that outsourced marketing department, you're facing a challenge. Um, and our model is based on the Zomato model which people say, what does that mean? It means we have one account manager to every 40 businesses. Is that scalable? Well, considering they're running in 24 countries with over, over 10,000 cities with 100 million active participants every month, we think it is. So I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of, of the kind of things that, that we do. So this, was, this is actually a true story from Wirra Wirra. Um, they came to us and said, why should we come on board with you? I said, well, very simple, give me your problems. And the first challenge that came from Claire, who runs the cellar door, said, how do I get people into Harry's Daily through the week? And our response to that was, well, a number of things. One, display advertising, focus on using programmatic advertising to reach out and, and reach uh, tour groups. Look at, at geofence targeting, because we do have an app, and we're not an app company. It's, we, it's one of six or seven channels that we use. And lastly, those EDM campaigns that we can focus out. So, uh, Luke asked, well, you know, that's all well and fine. But, or, sorry, Claire asked, that's all and fine, but how do we actually not irritate people? How do you actually make sure you're not doing too much? And our platform actually maps the full user, user journey. And not just the EDM, but the EDM, the push notification, the SMS, the, uh, uh, the geo, uh, geofencing, the programmatic ad, the, the, pa the paid social ad. And we actually work out how people are responding, what they're opening, how much they're opening, and we can actually run an algorithm to make sure that balance is correct. Obviously, Luke asked, well, how do we introduce new people to the winery? And because we've actually taken their data in and we've modeled the ideal audiences, we can actually use programmatic and pay social media to go and find those audiences and find more people that look exactly like that. 
Obviously, the question from Andrew was, well, that's great and fine, but you know, we've got some high-end wines. How do we sell more of those high-end wines? And the answer was simple. through a wobbly and said, can we actually integrate this into social media campaigns? Do we really think it's sort of complex? And we said, absolutely. And we can do this because our, our platform continually tracks the user journey and we can actually understand how to improve that behavior on an ongoing basis. We have no single direct competitor, which is weird because, um, because there's no level of artificial intelligence in this, this kind of, in this, in this audience. Rather, what we do allow businesses to do is to use numerous platforms previously and bring it together as one. What do I mean? One minute to Hello? go. One minute to go, Grant. Stop. Okay, fine. So there, there's businesses like Trolley that do the, the, the e-com sale. There are companies like MailChimp that are we pushing out EDMs. There are organizations like eBay that are big marketplaces that can go to, but you don't want to keep the data. You aren't allowed to hold it. You aren't allowed to use it. You don't get it back afterwards. And there's things like WineMage, which we actually created, which is an amazing e-com platform. Um, but it acts independently and not as a part of a whole full solution. Hey, guys, we lost there. I think we're back. Okay, cool. Our biggest risk, data management. Um, a breach for us would be catastrophic. And to that end, although we don't need to as a business, we are busy and halfway through our ISO 27,001 registration, and we know that we'll get things with that in place. Our team is awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, we have an amazing board of directors. They're not an advisory board. They are a board of directors. They are shareholders, and they are actively involved in our business. But the real magic comes from a management team that is absolutely committed to this business, made up of people that have deep experience in creating these projects and running these programs. Kieran was the person that created that Zomato pro that program I was talking about earlier. So for us, how do we make an impact? How do we want to go? We want to do it by taking our service further, f stronger, and more aggressively. So what is the ask? The ask is really simple. We are well funded. We've raised over half a million dollars. Um, we are funded through all the way until uh, February, March, until we actually, we are going to generate revenue. But what we want to do is we want to accelerate the launch to the rest of Australia, to Melbourne, to Brisbane, to Perth, um, from March on into next year. But more importantly for us, it's not necessarily the money, it's the partnerships. We've built our business model on trusted referrals, on people that, um, that, that consumers, that brands trust, 